look out the window as if you get any. There's a building about there. That's a relatively simple concept. It's a big about a big building. <laughs> Put it on screw. You don't need any torch to screw. Okay, well, as you can see over there leaning against the fence, I've already used the auger. Don't ask me, you know, saying when I set the camera down, you know, saying to get that footage, I, you know, messed up the shot and I ended up having to delete 23 minutes worth of video, so you didn't get to see me use the auger drilling the holes. But, you know what I'm saying, since I got, you know, like about 30 more holes to go, I'm pretty sure you'll see me using the auger. <laughs> you might see me using it now.
It's a modified digging bar. This end down here, I just took a square piece of steel and they welded it on and then they put a whole bunch more weld but I made it, you know, pretty stable. And then the other side, all right, you used to have a spoon bill because, you know, standard digging bars, you got a spoon bill or it's got a point. So what they did was they took the grinder and they just cut the point, the spoon bill off right to here, right? So it's like an inside. So this this is a this is right here is a pounder, you know, a, a packer. And yes, it weighs 37 pounds. I weighed it myself. And it hit. Right? Look at that. It hit. Living out here in the valley was easy. Check out that dust devil. Oh, he's probably about half a mile or so from here. Uh, and he's about, uh, I'd say about 30 stories high right now. Well, at least that's where I lose him at the top of the. Uh, spinning away. Uh, anyways, what we're doing right now. All right, so we're using the strapping, <clears throat> metal plumber's tape, strapping. All right, let's turn back down. All right, and we're tying together at right, the pallets where they butt together. See right there, I got to I got to put some more right there. All right, I'll use some bracketing. Right, and you, see, you see strapping. I'll go all the way to here, and I got to do these ones right here because I just found some more strapping. See, it's pretty solid. You can send metal strapping three spots. Alright, you can stand up. Alright, so, yeah, it's a pretty good fence. And stand, I had to use this piece right here. This was a one long little piece of structure. I measured it and it fit exactly right in the middle. So I cut it in half and then screwed it on. I sent right there to do the corner. And I left the wire right in between here in the corner. See, there it is right there. I uh, lift the wire from that post all the way around, corner post, to this post right here, right? You know, so I'm gonna, you know, and then it's all pallets to there, and then it's gonna be pallets down uh, to the trellis. From that, from that fence post to that fence post right there, I'm gonna cut it off right there, and then take all this fencing down, and then take these two posts out, all right, leave the gate post, all right, and I'm gonna, we're gonna do pallets to here, bing, to right here, all right, and then pick it up again on the other side. I don't know how easy it's gonna be, but we're gonna, you know, give it a go anyway, all right, and that's, all right, and then, from, and then I'm gonna finish going that way and make the corner there. Mom wants the yard, you know, she wants at least to here pallets, and at least over there at the end of the driveway pallets. Good old Uncle Carl did us a favor the other day when they were here for the family festivities and Jimmy's memorial. Right? And he was over to the hardware store to buy an extra little barbecue grill for for John, Trina's husband John, because John was cooking all the meat. Right? He bought that little barbecue grill right there. Right? Over at the hardware store, and while he was there, there was this gigantic stack of pallets. Right? You no, know, Uncle Carl asked, you know, the kid at the, 
I just said, hey, what do you guys do with these pallets? And the kid looked at him like he fell out of the sky and turned to his boss, and the boss said, well, you want them? Right? And Carl said, yeah. Right? And then Brian's doing a project over at the house, and he could use them. He said, how many you want? Carl said, all of them. Right? Dude said, okay. He came back over here, got the trailer, loaded them up, brought them over here, I helped him unload them, stacked them right there. I've been building power fence ever since. Brian, <laughs> good morning, I think, <laughs> it's morning, I just ate breakfast, so good morning, uh, uh, today, I'm working on my fence project, I haven't showed you guys any of the video yet, because you got, I have a bunch of raw video, and I have a little piece, you know, like the first part of it already done, but it's kind of rough still, so, you know, and I'm still making video as I go along, because I mean, it's, Pretty good, it's good size fence. Right? Uh, this morning I was gonna make the trellis. Right? You know, the lintel that goes over the top of the gate. Right? And Sam, I've been using material that I, you know, eat, that was either donated or that I, you know, that was, you know, stored out here on the property on the back 22 over there. And Sam, behind the horse trailers. Right, there was a stack of 45s over there that I, I built with the one side, you know, sand the driveway side. I built that out of all the 45 by 45s. Right, the one that I'm doing, the one that I finished the other day was yesterday, the day before yesterday. Right, the section I finished is the front where I turned the corner, and made the front all the way down to the front trellis. Right, you know and Sam, right, I did that with all 40s, 40 by 40s. Right? Because those are the ones that were donated by a local hardware store guy. I think I told the story already. I'm not, you know, probably did. I might smoke a lot of weed in between. <laughs> but, some days it's been, you know, sunny and hot. You know, I'm, you know, hot for Nevadans. I mean, yeah, it's, it's gotten, you know, it's gotten pretty rough, you know, pretty fierce here a couple of times on me. But that's because the sun index here is really hot. It's like a Phoenix in the city. But the difference in Phoenix is in the city, you have all the heat radiating from the pavement. And the, you know, the glass mirror is focusing the sunlight, you know, down on you, right? And the sidewalks, you're not, the, you know, the sidewalks are the coolest part of the whole place, but it's so hot. You know, out here, it's just raw desert, right? And the sun, like, whoa. And I freaked myself out. The light came undone, right? And when, the, when there's not a cloud in the sky, like right now, <laughs> it's like 10.30, I think, 10, 10.30. Right, and, the, and Mr. Sun is like on full, you know, saying UV, the UV, you know, the sun index filter, right, you know, what I'm saying it's 10, period. Nothing you can do about it, right, you know, what I'm saying, yeah, I, you know, I, I wear my shirt because I, my skin will burn quickly right out here, you know, what I'm saying, yeah, it's only like 85, 88, 91 degrees, and, but the humidity is like 8%, the other day it was 6%. The only time the humidity gets high is, is in local areas, like yesterday, when I mean, the last two days when it's rained and rained and rained and rained late in the afternoon, right, the humidity is like 100%, bang, <sighs> right, but, but the temperatures dropped all the way down to like 58, 55, because it's raining, and it's got all this cold wind blowing every which way, right, you know, right, but in, in on those part of the cloudy days, I'm saying when the temperature is, you know, relatively, you know, 88 to 92, 88 to 95, I'm saying, and the humidity is, you know, below 20%, you know I'm saying, yeah, it's actually 82 to 95 degrees, right, and, and you know what I'm saying, it's, it's hot to work, you gotta, you gotta stay hydrated, you gotta think about fluid, you know what I'm saying, you gotta wear your hat, 